student of third year MBBS and today I am going to explain you pneumococcal infection. So as the name suggests, pneumococcal infections means the infections caused by the bacteria pneumococcus. So first we will discuss about this bacteria pneumococcus. The pneumococcus is also called as streptococcus pneumonia. It is a gram positive bacteria and it is diplococcus which means it has two foci. The foci has one surface flat and another surface pointy and these foci are facing opposite to each other. This arrangement of the bacteria is called as lanceolate appearance. The bacteria is a capsulated bacteria and it is obstetrin sensitive which means it does not grow in the medium which contains obstetrin. It is biosoluble and it gives virulent test positive. Now, the capsule of the bacteria is antigenic and when we add an antiserum or antibody to the medium which contains this capsulated bacteria, the capsule of the bacteria gets swollen like this. This swelling of the capsule of the bacteria is considered as virulent test positive. Now we will discuss about the infection caused by this bacteria removed. So this bacteria enters our body through the inhalation of contaminated dust, droplet and droplet nuclei. Once it enters our body, it tries to colonize in the nasopharynx part of the respiratory tract. But due to the body's defense mechanism, this fails to colonize here and cause infection. Thus it cannot cause the infection. But we will see what are the defense mechanism of the body. So it includes cup reflex, which means that whenever the bacteria enters the body, through the cupping action, we try to remove the bacteria out of the respiratory tract. Second one is mucociliary apparatus. Now, the upper respiratory tract it is lined by ciliated columnar epithelium containing the mucus layer over it. Now, the bacteria get trapped in this mucus layer like this and by the ciliary action of these cilia it moves out of the respiratory tract. Also the body produces IgA antibodies against this bacteria and the alveolar macrophage present in the alveolar will also cause the phagocytosis of the bacteria and thus kill the bacteria and prevent the infection. But what if, if this defense mechanism is weak? if the immunity of an individual is less or weak which may be due to smoking or old age in children or due to any viral infection then in these conditions the bacteria can successfully enter the body and can cause infection in a body so which infections will be caused by this bacteria the infection caused will be pneumonia meningitis sinusitis otitis media and bacteria discuss about the infection pneumonia. Pneumonia is the most common infection caused by streptococcus pneumonia. Now what is pneumonia? Pneumonia is the infection of lung parenchyma. Every organ has two parts, its structural part and its functional part. Pneumonia is the infection of functional part of the lung. Now as we know, the bacteria enters the respiratory tract to inhalational route. Now when it enters the respiratory tract, it moves down and comes into the lungs and then it eventually reaches into the alveolar. In alveolar, there are two types of cells, type 1 pneumocytes and type 2 pneumocytes. Now bacteria comes and attaches to this type 2 pneumocytes of the alveolar. After attaching to it, it releases an enzyme called as pneumolysis, which causes the cell lysis of type 1 pneumocytes. And therefore, this type 1 pneumocyte gets burst out. This leads to the formation of a passage through which the bacteria can now come out of the alveolar. And it comes out and goes into this blood vessels. Now, this triggers the inflammatory response due to which the alveolar macrophage now comes and attaches to the bacteria. This alveolar macrophages in association with this bacteria now releases some cytokines like TNF-alpha. 
These cytokines causes the vasodilation of the blood vessels surrounding the alveoli. Also, it causes the retraction of the cells of the capillary, and therefore, there occurs the formation of gap between the endothelial cells, and also it causes the formation of gap between the type one lymphocytes. Now, the proteins from the blood now can move through this gap and enter the alveoli. Also, the water from the blood vessel goes and accumulates in the alveoli. This water, protein, inflammatory cells, pus cells, all these gets accumulated in the alveoli and thus it forms, it leads to the formation of an exudate over here. As we know, the main function of the alveoli is exchange of gas. The oxygen from the alveoli goes into the blood vessels and carbon dioxide from the blood vessels goes into the alveoli. But as we know here that the alveolar surface has decreased due to the formation of this exudate, the exchange of gases cannot take place and therefore the patient feels difficulty in breathing. So now we will discuss about the clinical features or the clinical presentation of the patient of pneumonia. The patient shows difficulty in breathing, it shows chest pain, coughing, fever and chills, confusion, fatigue and headache. Now, the pneumonia are of two types, the lower pneumonia and bronchial pneumonia. In lower pneumonia, one of the lobes of the lung is involved, while in bronchial pneumonia, there is patchy involvement of the lung. The streptococcus pneumonia usually causes the lower type of pneumonia. Now, we will discuss about the stages of the lower pneumonia. There are four stages of the lower pneumonia, that is congestion, Red hepatization, grey hepatization, and resolution. In red hepatization, there occurs the red blood cells in the alveoli, and in resolution, all these exudate formation reduces. Therefore, the patient feels difficulty in breathing. So now we will discuss about the clinical features or the clinical presentation of the patient of pneumonia. The patient shows difficulty in breathing. It shows chest pain, coughing, fever and chills, confusion, fatigue and headache. Now, the pneumonia are of two types, the lower pneumonia and bronchial pneumonia. In lower pneumonia, one of the lobes of the lung is involved. While in bronchial pneumonia, there is patchy involvement of the lung. The streptococcus pneumonia usually causes the lower type of pneumonia. Now we will discuss about the stages of the lower pneumonia. There are four stages of the lower pneumonia. That is congestion, red hepatization, grey hepatization and resolution. In red hepatization, there occurs the red blood cells in the alveoli. And in resolution, all these exudate formation reduces. After pneumonia, we will discuss about the other infections caused by streptococcus pneumonia. Now, in this diagram, it is showing the lumen of the respiratory tract, the mucus layer or the epithelial cells, interstitium and adjacent blood vessels. And now, as we know, the bacteria reaches the lumen of the respiratory tract and it moves down to cause pneumonia. But at the same time, it also tries to colonize in this epithelial cells of the respiratory tract. Now, for this, it produces IgA proteins. Now, this IgA protein acts against the IgA antibody produced by the body and it also pierces the mucus layer or the epithelial cells so that it forms the passage for the bacteria to move in the epithelial cells. The bacteria now move to the epithelial cells and from this epithelial cell, it eventually reaches into the interstitium. Now from this interstitium, the bacteria can move into the middle ear causing otitis media and it may also move to the sinuses causing sinusitis. But it also can move into the bloodstream adjacent to it, that is into the blood vessels. When the bacteria 
reaches the blood vessels and it causes bacteremia. Now, through this hematogenous route, the bacteria reaches the brain. It moves towards the brain and it causes the infection of meninges. That is the protective covering of brain causing meningitis. Now, we will look upon the treatment part of the pneumococcal infections. Treatment of the pneumococcal infection depends upon the severity. But as it is a bacterial infection, usually we give antibiotics like penicillin, macrolide, cephalosporin. For penicillin, higher doses are given in case of meningitis. Often the cough suppressants are also given and pain medications are given like analgesics to relieve the pain. So this was all about the pneumococcal infection. Thank you.